I actually just, I wanted to stream because I wanted to show you guys this iPhone 5S. It's an old phone, obviously, but it's still intact. There's a couple dents and stuff, but it's like beautiful. It's the gold one. This was the first iPhone where they offered a color that wasn't like black, white, and gray. And I immediately got the gold one and I stuck with the gold phones all throughout even after they introduced all the other rose gold now they have all this like green and purple and all this stuff but yeah this phone was just beautiful it was just beautiful look at it dude look at it and then the fingerprint scanner revolutionary the way they had it set up still to this day the best fingerprint scanner that has ever been made on a smartphone just on this phone that's i don't even know how many years old and it's it took me like five seconds to get used to how small it is because it's so, I have so much control over it and it feels amazing and all the buttons are so, people got to go back and, and, and look at their old like iPhone 5S's or 5's or whatever and, and just play around with them for a bit. Speakers, same port we all have right now and uh, headphone jack. Just play around with it and, and look at like the superior, the feel, the aesthetic that it has. Because you'll notice when you actually have it in your hands, it's it feels like a real tool. It doesn't feel like some giant screen that you're holding with two hands that's like has control over you. It's just a tool for, for getting stuff done, you know, even though in practice it's basically the same thing. It feels totally different. It feels totally different. Jailbreaking one of these, which is what I did way back in the day. We jailbroke like the iPhone 2G and all this stuff. But jailbreaking this was the peak iPhone experience. Like it was the best an iPhone could ever be. Jailbroken iPhone 5S. That was it right there. Dude, actually, now that I think about it, remember that app? This is only available for the, for the 5 and 5S. There was an app that would let you take panoramas where you put the phone on a flat surface and it would vibrate only one side of the phone. So it would go... Zzzz, zzz, 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 and it would drag the thing in and take the picture. And then it would go... Zzz, and then take the picture. And then stitch it all together and make a perfect panorama of like... You and your homies like sitting, chilling and like steak and shake um, and everyone's there and you guys are just eating and doing whatever. And it's just in the middle, just spinning by itself. That was so cool. That was like some spy kids, like phones were able to do like spy kids level stuff, like cool stuff like that. And now look at them. They're all the same. They're all like you go on MKBHD's channel and it's like you can guess 90% of the things he's going to say, it's like all filler now. It's all like, ah, this this phone obviously is very fast because it has this many, it has eight megabytes of RAM and the Snapdragon 8 the little, little, little processor and it has, uh, you know, this 7 million more pixels than the last one, even though you really can't even tell the difference. And if I put this phone next to you and I put a phone with one-tenth of the pixels next to you, you literally won't even be able to tell which one has more pixels. But, you know, still that matters for some reason. Um, it, uh, it's all like very, very minor marginal things. We've reached, we've, we've gone pa way, way, way past the point of diminishing returns in terms of the stuff that these people are investing money in. They're investing money in things that require a significant amount more money for there to be even the, the slightest noticeable difference. If, if you're, if a web page takes two seconds to load, and you make it double the speed, it'll only take one second to load. Now that might be a big difference to you, but if it, if you double it again, which doubling that again is an extremely arduous task, it's going to take much more than doubling it from one second, from two seconds to one second. Going from one second to half a second is much more difficult technology-wise, and yet it only offers you a half a second benefit. Pages load like assets and all the stuff online loads in milliseconds when you're chopping down more milliseconds spending all this money who cares it's just for the stat it's just to one-up your competitors 
that look, we have this and and LG only has that or whatever. I don't know, whatever. One plus only. Has, and it's, it's all this like stupid little numbers games that people play. This right here, this was a symbol of when phones were cool, when they would do cool things. Kind of. But yeah, look at that flush camera with the thing. Dual color flash. All this stuff like came to this phone first for like, I mean, not um, obviously a lot of other phones had it, but this is the first iPhone that really had it. And in my opinion, it's the perfect sized iPhone. I can reach, I can reach the whole screen, which is my thumb. Look at that whole screen. And I don't, it doesn't require much. I'm twisting my hand, but if I just hold it like normally, like, you know how your wrist is like this, I can reach the whole thing. It's so, just so comfortable to use. Oh, imagine typing with the swipe thing that Apple has now, but typing it on this smaller screen. Oh, that'd be incredible. That'd be amazing. If I ever make a phone, I'm just going to make it exactly like the 5S, uh, but with a better operating system. That's really all I'm going to do. This is the phone I have now, Google Pixel 4 XL, I think. And after, dude, I have, I, I have iPhone 12 as well. I hate both of them. I hate all the newest. I have a, a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 right there. All the new Android phones and all the new iPhones suck. It's just a shame. They don't like, they don't care about user experience. They don't care. They care about the stats that that user experience uh, reviewers might use to judge user experience, but they don't care about the actual user experience. 